Hey folks, welcome to the Whiskey Hunter. This week we're heading to the nation's capital, Ottawa, Ontario, here in Canada. Checking out North of Seven Distillery for the first time. And I'm pumped. Let's go. And I'm a whiskey, 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 the whiskey hunter. North of Seven Canadian Whiskey, single barrel, 45% ABV with a mash bill of corn, wheat, rye, and barley. I don't normally talk about the mash bills, but I'm talking about that tonight because these both say just Canadian whiskey on the bottle, but they both have different mash bills. So um, let's check this out. I'm already poured up. First time trying the North of Seven stuff at home. Thanks for joining me on this chilly January night. I'm going to try the Check out the nose here, folks. So, pretty powerful on the nose. Pretty, um, kind of hits you on the nose a little bit. Seems strong, it's 45% is not that strong, but it seems strong on the nose. Getting like a, like a, um, like a woodiness. Getting some wood on the nose. Some sweetness in there. Some caramel. Dying to check this out. Cheers at home, folks. Mmm. Ooh, so getting a lot of that power, your, the power I was getting on the nose. That spice, oof, comes across right on the palate. Right away, pretty strong. Oh, give us a second here. Strong but nice, and then it kind of dissipates a bit, and kind of smoothens out. <laughs> really cool. Um, quite like this, actually. This um, out, out of the two, I'm doing two bottles tonight, and out of the two, this one really like the the power on this one. So, a lot of power, a lot of spice on the nose. Same power and spice right away on the palate. Then it kind of dissipates a little bit, smoothens out. Let's check out the finish. Nice long finish, that spice stays right to the end. Still have that sweetness, that, that um, caramel stays with you also. Kind of gets a bit creamy at the end. But at the same time, at the, at the same time you have this a little bit of dryness as it's kind of getting near the end of the finish. A little bit of smoke, really nice. Um, quite into this uh, this first bottle from North of Seven. One more time, folks. Again, at home. Cheers. I'm gonna finish this one off and get on to the second one. Excuse me. Hmm. Creamy caramel spice for days. Very nice. Let's check out bottle number two. From North of Seven, Canadian whiskey. This one with a mash bill of 95% rye, 5% malted barley. So this is the rye. 45, 40, 45% ABV, um, same as the last one. But like I said, with a different mash bill. Let's check this one out, already poured up, folks. Check the nose. Way softer on the nose. Way kind of prettier. Almost getting, instead of that power and that spice, I'm getting like pretty notes and like floral notes. Some vanilla in there. It's just a little bit more subtle. I like it. I like the nose. Let's check out the palate. Cheers, folks. Bottle number two. So definitely, from the nose to the palate, less spice. Get like a, get like a Coke, Coca-Cola <laughs> kind of sweetness on the on the palate. Definitely, forget it. This there's still a, bit, a tiny bit of spice there, but mostly just sweetness. Like I said, almost like a like a cola note, and even some.
chocolate note. Whenever I say chocolate, I always think fruit and nut because it's my favorite chocolate. But there is a bit of a fruitiness, fruity chocolateness to it. Um, very interesting. Completely different than the first bottle. Um, first bottle got sweet, but this one's just sweet is more at the forefront. Check out the finish. Hmm. So the first one had a long finish. This is definitely a shorter finish, um, but the sweetness stays with you. And the aftertaste, you still get, I'm still getting that Coke, a little bit of fruitiness, almost like, um, I was gonna say cherry Coke, but I don't think I've ever had a cherry Coke. So I, I don't know if I could say that. Um, but there's, there's a, like a definite cola note and some fruitness, some fruitness, some fruit. Um, that vanilla is still there, like a vanilla Coke, a vanilla cherry Coke. What I'm saying is, it's nice. Um, one last time for the uh, the North of Seven Rye. Mm -mm -mm. These two bottles complement each other excellently. Maybe that's why they sent these two. Um, the first one being like the more rough and tumble, more power, still with a little bit of creaminess and, and some soft smoke at the end. And the second bottle being way kind of more playful, sweet. Really like it. Two North of Seven. Cheers, guys at home. Uh, let's wrap this up. There you have it, folks. For the first time, North of Seven Distillery out of Ottawa, Ontario. Excellent choices. Uh, these two bottles that, that were sent to me. Thank you very much to Greg. When I first got the bottles, I actually had them the other night uh, with some roasted chestnuts. My wife roasted some chestnuts. And I was like, what are you doing? Roasted chestnut. Oh. Roasted chestnuts with these two whiskeys. Beautiful little treat. And you know what? These bottles have been just perfect this week. January, dull, gray weather. And they've kind of really spiced things up a little bit, sweetened things up a little bit. So thanks to North of Seven. I know when things open up again and I'm out in Ottawa playing, touring, I'm going to have to pay north of seven a visit. That's for sure. Folks, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like it, share it, comment, and check us out on Patreon because we have a Patreon channel and there's all kinds of fun stuff happening there. I got to go. Cause I'm the whiskey, 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 the whiskey hunter. But I'm still here. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next week. Have a great week, folks. Stay safe. Stay positive. Keep drinking whiskey. That'll help. I'm the whiskey, 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 the whiskey hunter.